Hello and welcome to another Geek Lively segment. I know, it's fairly recent since my past one. <laughs> what do I have in plan? No, but seriously, I've been wanting to get more into it. And I'm going to make this one quick compared to my last one. Way too long. So, I recently saw the Humble Bundle of THQ games and I went for it. And I. I spent ten bucks on it. I I paid my dues, man. And I got Saints Row the Third within it. Because I paid over that minimum price. I mean, you know. And well, within the past couple days I've well played through Saints Row the Third. I work at Toys R Us and in the electronics section to be specific. And I I know what consumers want and what consumers buy, and when Saints Row the Third first came out, I was like everyone was buying it. And I was just like, why? And then I played it, and now I fully understand because it is Grand Theft Auto on crack. Like it is the greatest thing ever. Like I love Grand Theft Auto. I love anything like. In that category, like, but like Saints Row Third, I haven't played any other Saints Row games, so I'm completely biased. But the third is ridiculous. Like, just, <laughs> just a matter of fact, like the costumes, the guns, the just overall aspect of the game. It's like they took GTA and you're like. Oh yeah, this is a great game. Let's make it ridiculous. And by ridiculous, I mean ridiculous. I mean, if you jump on the hood of a car, let's make an achievement for that. Yeah, that's good. If you love cars, let's make an achievement. Yeah, no, Grant has never got a shit on this. Alright, yeah. Alright, this is, this is good, yeah. And the ending of the game overall is just a pretty much middle finger to the entire game which is hilarious you start off thinking this is really cool and you get into the game and thinking oh man this is intense that's as far as I'm gonna go I gave you spoilers enough but like I thought the game was complete shit coming from an outside point of view and then I actually played it and I realized Hey, this is actually a really awesome game. And even after you beat it, it has that open open world possibility. You can try different ways to beat it. You have different endings and it's it's actually really good. So Centro Third, try it. I mean it's my quick review, but still I I played the whole thing, I played every aspect of it, and I still highly suggest it. It's really cool. Go. Go and try it. Go. Go. Go.